Hello and welcome back to the Anime Club, the club where we talk about anime episodes or arcs or seasons or whatever's come out in in terms of anime. Blah, 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 blah. I stuttered so much there. The Demon Slayer Swordsmith arc has finally finished and it was brilliant. Well, I don't think this arc was as good as the Entertainment District arc, I don't think it was meant to. I think it's supposed to be a bridging gap and a learning curve. And regardless, this had some crazy moments. The finale came out the other day, I'm so glad it was a long one and it was 50 minutes, but oh my god, this had some in insane moment. Let's talk about the arc as a whole. As a whole, this didn't feel as great as the entertainment arc for me. I think it was in terms of the upper rank demons that they used. They, these demons, even though they were upper rank 4 and 5, didn't seem like they had as much power or control as the demon from entertainment, which I think was like upper 7. Still, that demon felt more powerful and more of a risk than this one, or these two. While I absolutely adore and love Takito, and I think his character is absolutely fantastic, it felt like he dealt with the upper 5 way too easily. Which I'm not complaining about because I didn't want to see him avoid Takito get hurt. But it just felt like, oh, he's he's already killed him. In like, a f I mean, it was still a, a big chunk of time. But it didn't feel like, in, like in the Entertainment District arc where he just was, at that, that demon was absolutely destroying everything and everyone. Whereas this demon was upper five and he didn't really do much. The upper four demon I thought had some absolutely fantastic moments but it just didn't again feel like that big of a threat. I mean don't get me wrong, I love when he went into the form of having the drums around his head and he could summon this massive dragon eight-headed thing. It seemed like Missouri pretty much had a hold on that with without much struggle. I mean, yeah, she had to go through a flashback and she nearly got killed and they all nearly got killed by it, but it just didn't feel strong. But don't get me twisted, This I loved this arc so much. It had some fantastic moments and also some fantastic characters. And also character development. I think Tanjiro has, has come out of this arc as a different person. I think he's grown so much and it's fantastic to see how he's developing and oh my god Nezuko I was that whole scene I was crying he's got to decide between saving his sister and saving these three swordsmith people and also potentially killing an upper rank demon and he's so conflicted with himself and then she just bang kicks him off and then he just goes through all these flashbacks while she burns uh, alive in the sun only to later find out that she's controlled the demon she is a human again oh Oh my god, that reveal, it was crazy. Such a well done moment as well. The way they in involved the flashbacks and the music involved animation is just stellar. We don't need to say it. Seeing Tanjiro use his new sword and just, oh my god, the flame animation on just all of it. When he just was going ballistic on this upper five, or upper four even, sorry. It was just crazy to see. And to see Tanjiro kill an upper rank demon in that way, like he pretty much did it with ease, sort of. It, I mean, it took him a a whole arc but he did it with ease when he finally got there seeing him when he did the the flame thing and sliced like four of the heads off at the same time that was just an incredible moment from this series something that i will always remember i loved seeing tanjiro get his lessons from zenitsu and being able to control his legs and do the do the run i thought that was fantastic and it was also like as soon as i saw zenitsu's face i was like man i miss this guy i want him back which every single time i mention everyone just comments oh wait for infinity infinity castle so Infinity Castle and I I need that now apparently. I don't know anything about it, but apparently it's really good. It's crazy. I don't know what they're gonna do with Nezuko now. Now now that she can talk and conquer the demon power. It's going to be really interesting seeing where she goes and where her character goes because I genuinely just have no idea. That Lord Muzan scene at the end of it. Oh my god. There's moments like that in animes where I genuinely am just like my mouth is on the floor. Like how you just see his mum's head be absolutely taken clean off. Oh well it's not his mum but you know. And we got his backstory. I was not expecting that at all and I think it's developed his character in a way that I didn't think I needed it to be developed but it has been developed. Now I'm just terrified to see what he does with Nezuko and just all of them. I think the next arc is Hashira training, which sounds weird. I don't know. I'm kind of excited for it though. I think it's going to give us something different rather than just it always being upper rank demons. Un unless there's suddenly an upper rank demon in the Hashira like training facility. I don't know. I hope we get some more content with the uh, the master and also just of more of the Hashira. I, there's some of the Hashira I can't wait to explore. The one with the snake around his neck I think looks so interesting and I just can't wait for the rest of Demon Slayer. I hope we get it soon and don't have to wait a long time. But anyway, that is all from me. If you did enjoy, please like that below. Let me know what you thought of this arc and I'll see you next time on the Anime Club.